Hey, hi guys, it's David here from One Step at a Time, and today we're going to be talking about how to create a Hirons bootable USB. Now, in one of my other videos, I was talking about how to recover data, lost data, and I was using Hirons, and I showed you how to create a uh, download the ISO file and burn it to your DVD. But today I'm going to show you how you can do that from a USB if you want. And um, there are a few options. Just going to put this up here. This is one of the ways they show, but I find this very long winded. You have to um, download different applications and then you have to move files and folders around. Much easier way of doing this. And I use this here, which is. Rufus it's called so if you just put in Rufus and hit enter or you can go to Rufus I will leave a link in the description but um, if you just type in Rufus you'll get this and just come down here to where it says download and download this it'll only take a couple of seconds and I have it downloaded and what you want to do as well is go to just wait for this to load Bob is very slow today so you just go to, I'll leave a link in the description again, but ironsbootcd.org, but it'll be forward slash download. Just click on the download. And when you scroll down to the bottom here, you'll see this ironsbootcd 15.2 zip as of making this. So just download that and uh, extract all the files and folders from it because it's in zip. And once you have Rufus and Hirons, just go to your Downloads, and I'm going to launch Rufus. I'm just going to say run. And I'm going to say no for the moment. It'll still work, it's fine. So I'm just going to and uh, just minimize this so you can see here. And then what I, you do is you come in here and I have my USB device plugged in. If you don't plug it in, you'll need at least a gig in there. So if, uh, it needs to be bigger than a gigabyte. Mine's four. Um, I come down here and I just, I leave it if the file system is FAT32. Cluster size, I leave everything else as default. And then I have created this already. So that's why it's named this. But this will probably, your device name will probably say um, nothing if there's no name on it or you don't have anything already saved on it. And then down here, where this create a bootable disk using, and then you want to come down here and say ISO image, and then you want to click on here on the little browse icon, and then you want to go into your Hirons boot CD. So double click on that, open it up. And this is your ISO file here. Just click on that and say open. I'll do it for the sake of this. And once you have that done, all you need to do is click start. And once you click start, it'll start running. It can take oh, about five, 10 minutes. So go and have a cup of tea, coffee, whiskey, whatever it is. And um, once you come back to it, you will have your bootable USB drive. And then I'll quickly show you with my handheld camera um, booting in through your BIOS to make sure that it loads up by you, um, that it boots via USB. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, guys, when, once you've created your um, USB drive with your irons on it the first thing you're going to do or won't give you the option to boot from the USB is plug it in so pop it in and once it's on and uh, plugged in all the first thing you want to do is when you start it up you'll have a couple of options to get into your BIOS you probably know if not sometimes it's escape F2 F8 F10 F12 delete depends on your model it will show you down here in the bottom left hand corner so it'll tell you what to press, you'll get a couple of seconds and then just click whatever it tells you. So on mine it's escape, so I'm going to just switch on my machine. So once your machine's starting up, I'll 
probably get a message here about my battery because it's given out and down here at the bottom it says escape and on this computer uh, it's a compact with Windows 7 I'm getting this option here and sometimes you will be directed straight into the BIOS and you'll be able to do what I'm going to show you in a second but if you get this option you can go to F9 so if you press F9 on your computer it'll give you the option to boot once from either a CD, DVD drive, hard drive, USB um, if you only want to do it just once if you want to set it up that by default that you start up from your USB all the time or your CD DVD and um, you'll have to go into your BIOS setup so on this it's F10 so I'm going to click on F10 F9 is pretty straightforward so I'm just going to cross here to system configurations and where it says boot options I'm going to go down to boot options and then I'm going to click enter and then I want the boot order to change so I'm going down here to boot order and then I want to boot from the USB Diskette and you. so I'm going to just use my arrow keys, go down to that, and then press an F5 or F6 will bring that up or down. So F5 will bring it down, F6 will bring it to the top here. And I want it to start there. So once I'm happy with that, as you probably see in the bottom, it tells you to press F10. So I'm going to press F10, I'm going to say yes, and should. restart your computer press any key this time and uh, there we go guys it should um, this worked for me no problem so you should have no hassles whatsoever using your irons boot CD from the USB and it's an awful lot faster than the CD but I have a CD DVD of it as well so um, fantastic tool so if you like the video hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video cheers good luck